Hey folks, Tony here and this video is going to cover a number of fundamentals for drawing. Let's start with sketching versus drawing. In this segment you see that I am hastily drawing a character. While doing this, I'm not really worried about accuracy or details. Instead, I'm trying to discover what the character will look like. I'm thinking about volume and I'm thinking about form. Now in this segment I've taken a copy of the original sketch and I'm drawing over it with a thick black line. Notice that I'm choosing the best lines and adding details where necessary. My first suggestion for emerging artists is to follow a process where you focus on shape and proportion before you start drawing in the details. This next segment shows a technique called ghosting. Similar to the way a baseball player swings before going up to bat, artists can practice before putting down a line. This is a great technique because it allows you to think about and plan what you draw before it goes on the paper. It also helps you avoid a hairy, sketchy line. Similar to ghosting, dots are tools that allow you to practice before putting down a line. I like using dots when doing preliminary sketches because they help organize the space without making a drawing that is too messy and cluttered. One of my favorite qualities in a drawing is the line variation. There's something magical about a strong use of varying weights because it makes the work look lively. Work with different line thicknesses are interesting to look at. And even though I'm drawing digitally in this demo, this concept translates to materials um, that are traditional like pencil, paint, and brushes. Now, let's see what happens when I trace over with a uniform line thickness. Which drawings do you like better? While opinions are subjective, I really like the drawings in example A more than the ones in example B because there's way more character. Those drawings seem to have more depth. But again, it's all subjective and I recommend that you do what's best for you. Here's a quick demo on perspective. Whether you're using one, two, or multi-point perspective, this is an excellent tool to learn. Notice how small objects have the appearance of being further away. The illusion of the sense of depth can easily be achieved by laying down a grid line and changing the size of repeated objects as they get closer to the vanishing point. This also works with two-point perspective. Notice how windows closer to the vanishing point get smaller and look like they're further away. And the opposite is also true. By the way, you don't always need to draw the horizon lines, vanishing points, etc. If you deliberately make some sides smaller, they'll look further away. The key is to be consistent. This final clip shows some techniques with shading. Notice how a mid-tone that fills the character immediately adds depth and volume. When adding a highlight on the front plane and a shadow on the side plane, you get even more depth. As the sketch finishes, notice how the addition of hatch lines play a role in adding detail and depth to your characters. Solid black lines, 30, 50, 70 percent gray, and a tiny bit of white will go a long way. Make sure you give this stuff a try. I recommend sketching some complex objects with ghosting techniques. Make sure the perspective is right, and once you're done with that sketch, you can do a nice drawing focusing on variety of line weights and adding in some shading. Hey, thanks for watching. Bye bye.